In the age of Sigma, the once great city of Shadespire lies in ruins. An ancient curse has driven many to madness and despair. Brave heroes fight to break this curse, whilst others rebel in undying combat. And some have lost all sense of reason and purpose. As these souls clash, the city of Shade Spire shall run red with blood. The mighty Stormcast, warriors of Sigma, have traveled tirelessly through Shade Spire in search of their lost brothers. Fighting against friend and foe, their resolve does not falter, though the city does not run short of enemies. These tracks, they can't be more than a week old. Take heart, brothers, for we are making progress, Fast Rider. We are not alone. Yes. Iron Skull and its warriors have been tracking us, I'm well aware. Come out, beasts, for you have fallen into my trap. Well, well, Stormcast, look at what we have here. Hey, hello, governor. You think we stupid? All out your heads. Get ready, boys. Meat is on the menu. Oh, 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 oh. Stormcast. Prepare for battle. Right, welcome, Fano, to uh, mission number three, the Shade Spire uh, Modern Wargamer narrative campaign. Following the journey of the uh, Hunter Vanguard Fast Riders, uh, the Fast Riders, uh, going up against the uh, against Iron Skull's boys. So uh, um, a race of destruction and um, you know, classical orcs there, big beefy boys with their weapons. Um, so noble, noble, mighty warriors of good versus the classic orcs, orcs versus humans. There we go. This is a um, a tale as old as time. There. Um, so yeah, mission number three on this uh, well received, um, generating a lot of buzz, a lot of views. Um, it's from this guy, humble guy from New Zealand, filming on his kitchen bench. A couple of coronies in the background there, keep things funky and fresh. Um, mission number three sees the Stormcast travelling and still in search of their Stormcast brothers, uh, Steelhearts champions, uh, going through the city of Shadespire, finding tracks, finding little clues of the whereabouts of their allies. Um, and this time, the, uh, they're well aware of the pursuit of the Orcs and they've come to a location that is defensible. We've got this, uh, these pillars here. We've got hazardous spots there. So it's um, to the Orcs' own detriment that they come in and engage in this combat. Um, here we've got Swift Blade, the only one inspired here with a host of upgrades and abilities. We've got objectives two, three, four on Stormcast side, objectives one and five on Orc side. Um, orcs inspire when they suffer damage, so that's a pretty good um, boost for them. They come packed with a lot more health than normal uh, to help them survive that ability. And we've got our objectives and glory um, uh, objectives and uh, our normal cards loaded as well. We shall roll off our black dice. Let's see who's going first. Orcs want to take first turn or Stormcast? Stormcast taking turn one there, Fano. We'll roll straight into it. Turn one, uh, activation phase of the Stormcast, the Fast Riders. Stay with us. All right, Fano, so first activation. Uh, fast Riders moved on to objective two and gone into guard, readying for combat. Um, letting his prey come to him. Uh, one of the orcs here, what's his name? Hacker, 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 is that Hacker? Yeah, do the Hacker, Old War Wargamer styles. That's H-A-K-K-A. Bone Cutter. Bone Cutter, yeah, Bone Cutter for K, that's how you know he's evil. Um, hey, me name Bone Cutter. Yeah, how good was that? Um, he's moved as well, so the simple movements, no big moves made so far. We'll go into uh, second activation for the Stormcast. End of the second activation, Elmeric Eagle Eye has moved uh, into a defensive triad, a, a Triforce Triangle there. Um, support from all angles, no matter where the enemies attack from. Um, so in, in guard position. In response to that, my opponent also 
sticking bravely on the no man's land so he doesn't want to come into range of the cross um, the storm bolters or bolt storm pistols to stay out of that so he's in that no man's land snug and secure over there um, just waiting waiting for an opportune moment uh, we shall go into the third activation turn one all right so uh, i just drew an objective for that activation my opponent has moved um, his guy into my territory now i'm feeling a bit a uh, bit threatened there um, and we've still got Swift Blade, the inspired hero, wielder of so many upgrades, um, ready for combat. I'm gonna play a quick ploy card there, quick thinker. Um, play this after an enemy fighter's move action, make a move action with a friendly fighter who has not already moved. So Swift Blade will take the initiative and get an automatic move up here. Uh, put him in range with his uh, Bolt Storm pistol of this guy who foolishly stepped into my range. Um, go into the final activation on turn one and see what's going to happen. All right, Fana, so uh, Swift Blade inspired, going to open fire with his Bolt Storm pistol into um, Basher, the uh, fierce orc with two spiky clubs. He's got three attacks hitting on swords. He's also got the Lone Warrior upgrade as well, so he's going to be hitting on one support icon. So let's see what he gets. Ah, oh, one crit. Opponent gets the roll of defense, one defense, crit looking for, nothing. So he's gonna take one damage. Oh. And inspired as a result of that, going into uh, his activa uh, his final activation for the turn. Yep. All right, so Iron Skull, the warband leader of uh, Iron Skull's boys, uh, I've miscalculated, and he's going into charge against Swift Blade. Um, what's his potential damage? So he gets two, at um, two, two attacks, three damage each. So if both of these hit and go through, Swift Blade is dead and he's like my best fighter. Um, all right, pray. Pray for him. Two attacks hitting on axes or crits. Two axes. Oh no. Two axes. I just need to save one. So two crits. Um, two crits or two shields, or just one of any, one of any, come on. No! He's dead, he's my best character. Oh. So yeah, as per my campaign, when I lose uh, a guy, they lose all their experience and all their knowledge because they get re re you know, reborn by the city. So that's first blood to the Iron Skulls boys, and uh, one glory point to them, putting them one up uh, against the Stormcast. That was my bad, eh? Gonna keep miscalculating the amount of steps you can take. But uh, yeah, rubbish. All right, so end of the first turn, turn one, uh, Shades Fire. Fast Riders versus Iron Skulls boys. Um, bloody first turn, lost my uh, most elite and experienced warrior. Warrior of two, veteran of two games so far. Two battles. Um, putting my opponent onto one glory. Uh, end of the game turn though, cash them my objective, consecrated area, gain this if there are no enemy fighters adjacent to my fighters. Uh, so as you can clearly see, bingo, bango, bongo, got that. Spend that one to give my, uh, give Sanson the awakened weapon, reroll a failed attack dice. Uh, my opponent also put Brutal Frenzy onto uh, Hacker, or Haka over here. Uh, gives him an extra attack dice. Um, redrawn our hands, throwing out stuff we don't want, stuff we do want, uh, and going into turn two, see how things roll out. Um, oh, we re rolled a C to start, so um, I will go first, absolutely. So, Stormcast taking first turn on, uh, first activation on turn two. Alright, so Iron Skull. Um, Inspired, he um, I, I made an attack with Almeric into him. He lost uh, a point of health, uh, but it inspires him as a result, and so he's even deadlier than he was. And he's gonna let let, let out a charge and goes, I'm gonna kill you, mate. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, charges into uh, Fast Rider himself, rolling off his two two attacks, hitting on axes or crits. Well, those are the defense dice. Oops. Mistake I said I get to re Oh, one hit. Gonna re roll this one. Oh, he gets to re roll because he's inspired too. Oh, nothing. And I get one defense. 
Oh, this won't kill him. One defense, but I'm uh, defending on a shield or one support. Yeah, one support. Makes his attack in, and Elmeric parries the bloke. Back, beast. Back. Run, Severin. Uh, that is the end of the second activation. Um, and before we end it, I am... No, I'm just going to stay there. All right. Yeah, stay there. Uh, going into activation on... Oh, activation number two on turn two. All right, fine. So second activation on uh, turn two. I play a uh, play to deploy card in the last turn. Lethal strike to double the damage of the next attack action. So Samson's going to roll in on that, doubling his storm saber. No, not storm saber. Shock hand axe. So um, less attacks, but more damage into the mighty iron skull. Uh, see if we can kill him. Uh, we're going to hit on axes or crits and also supports. Come on. Boom, crit, axe, two hits. Roll that one defense on a shield. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone, that is two damage each. Two has already taken one. So, the mighty Sanson Fast Strider, leader of the Vanguard, the Hunter Vanguard, wields his mighty shock hand axe and delivers it straight to the brain of the fierce orc. <laughs> bada bing, a bada boom. There we go. Uh, it's a glory point to the storm cast. And um, beauty, you little beauty, you little ripper. Um, storm cast on two glory, orcs on one. Um, tied, to, oh, I'll put the storm cast in front and we'll see what happens next as we uh, wrap up the activation of turn two. So old mate here, what's his name? Basher. 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 Basher on one damage. He's inspired. He's rushing in, seeing the fall of his war boss uh, into Almeric. He's hitting on swords or crits. Oh, one crit. Go. Defense. Oh! He is clean. Ding! Master, def master of combat, uh, Elmeric Eagle Eye, deflects, parries a blow, and um, holds fast against the Orc Storm. Um, so that is the end of second activation, going to the third activation on turn two. So with the death of Iron Skull, um, the Orcs are in disarray, the Stormcast are um, inspired and holding their position. Um, orcs moving forward, everyone standing still. Pretty uh, tight game, I just drew another objective and now uh, we're going into the final activation of turn two. All right, final so end of turn two. Um, Sanson stayed on this objective for two turns so far. Um, Elmerix moved backwards, um, moving past the Orcs who were closing in like a plague. Um, we shall see, uh, reset the counters. Um, see if we gained any objectives uh, currently on Stormcast 2 to my opponent one glory point uh, and so my opponent cashed in no objectives but I managed to gain uh, Sigma's Bulwark uh, gain this if you suffered no damage in the preceding action phase which was uh, mission accomplice, uh, accomplished and score this if the same friendly fighters held the same objective at the end of two continu uh, consecutive action phases so uh, yeah, he's been on there for two turns. So that is two more glory points to myself. Uh, bring me up from uh, to four, my opponent on one. Um, spend some upgrades, redraw our hands and go into the final turn uh, of this um, Shakespeare narrative battle report. All right, final, so end of the first activation phase for the final turn. Um, special wings um, allow um, fast Strider to take flight and he's flown across the battlefield uh, into the Orcs uh, territory which also inspires him so he's powered up now in preparation I know um, we're winning at the moment plus um, preparing for the final campaign next week want to make as much advances as we can because my opponent will also randomly d6 roll how many of his guys inspiring how many upgrades he gets to take in um, so that's how things roll on this narrative uh, that I present you with. Um, 
My opponent desperately tried to take this guy out. He used another ploy, having a good time, mate. You having a good time here watching a Moldy War game of Battle Report? Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, so he tried two attacks against him with uh, Hacker, uh, unsuccessful. So we live to fight another day and go into um, activation turn two, cash in any objectives. Uh, first, play any poise and then uh, orcs take. Uh, orcs, I don't. Yeah. Oh, he still might not live. Alright, so before we go into the second activation on the final turn, I'm playing a ploy. Great concussion. A thunderous blast echoes across the battlefield, sending bodies flying in all directions. So the thunder of Sigma rains from above. Straight onto that hex. Knocking back Almeric, one square. Knocking back this mate, one square. And uh, ending thus. Uh, the turn while well, my opponent wants to play one now that I've decided to play one. Let's see what he's got. I'm going to play that and try and redirect the ploy. Play. Plays when a friendly fighter is. Nah, that one doesn't work. Because if you're not chosen by the ploy, it's the hex that was chosen. Nice time. Nice time. Uh, Orcs leading off the second activation final turn. All right, end of the second activation. Old mate here, his name's Basher. Uh, again, try to attack Almeric unsuccessfully as Almeric has crossed the threshold into enemy territory, into the Shattered City, and becoming inspired alongside Severin. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put her on guard um, over there. So she's in guard, ready to defend um, as we go into the final two. And my opponent's just got that guy with the big bloody axe. What's his name? Axe chopper. Boom cutter. Boom cutter. Uh, the last one that can actually do anything, so we're pretty safe. One, two, three. One, two. Wait, can you move three? Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Don't give him ideas. Going into activation turn three. So my opponent, uh, end of the third activation, claim this uh, objective. Score immediately if you've made a charge, or if three or more fighters made a charge action. So he's accomplished that and brings it on to two to four. Uh, and I'm also playing this card myself, Improvisation. This card will power cards, I only had one other one, and uh, draw three new ones. Let's see if they can give me some abilities to uh, win or upgrade before we move into the final uh, final game of the campaign next week. Uh, stay with us, final activation on turn four, on the final turn. All right, fine, so that is the end of the game. Um, this final activation, we both drew our objective cards, achieving nothing there. My opponent managed to claim one final uh, objective, bringing up to three glory points to my four. Um, so you know what that means, a Stormcast victory, a victory for the forces of good. Hurrah! So yeah, that's game. Uh, Iron Skulls boys versus the Fire Striders. Um, the Orcs, pretty big, beefy bruises. Um, I found the card in the um, Steel Hearts Champions deck that uh, causes one damage to all fighters. That's a perfect card for their deck. Inspire everyone in one turn, you know. Uh, when they inspire, they're causing more damage, getting more health, all sorts of different upgrades. Uh, pretty cool, beefy boys to uh, play up the game. Um, yeah, the, the the Stormcast uh, escape with a victory there just by the the um, you know the what is it by like the tip of their toes or something like that, the skin of their teeth, skin of their feathers, some sort of stain like that. Very close victory, um, and you know coming down to me just getting better objective cards really um, rather than any anything particular. But that does preload and power up Fast Rider. Also, Eagle Eye both inspired. And look at, he's got Awakened Weapon, less by Sigma, one wound. Awakened Weapon, reroll attack. Flashing Hand Axe, a powered up Hand Axe. And Etheric Step, he's allowed to move through enemy units. Um, so yeah, he's become a big boss. Uh, in preparation for the final confrontation with the Forces of Chaos next game. Um, final game for the Shadespire series, uh, Shadespire season. Um, so it's ha had a lot of um, what a positive uh, reception there, much appreciation. Uh, 165 subscribers sitting on currently. Um, you know, these Sunday extras, there's a nice little fun diversion from, you know, I love doing the Warhammer 40k battle reports. Um, those are a bit lengthy, you've got to dedicate a bit of time to them. These are fun pick up and play games, uh, much enjoyed, and uh, nice, nice little variety to the channel and uh, to my day. Um, you know, I have it with a 
or four beers down now. Um, you know, nice, quiet, nice way to enjoy an afternoon. Uh, so much recommended as well there. And looking for yeah, Shades Vibe. Love these small war bands. Love how cheap they are. Um, doesn't take too much to paint them up um, and, and get some quality, you know, quality looking tabletop miniatures uh, battling it out in the ruined city. Uh, makes me ins uh, excited for 2019, bringing you Shades Vibe Season 3, uh, which will follow the Night Vault. And then uh, season four, I reckon, will be just like a, probably like 12 games with all the armies that we've got, I reckon. Something cool like that. Uh, but anyway, Fano, that's it from me. Shades by Iron Skulls versus Fast Striders. Uh, victory to Stormcast for Sigma. For Sigma! Yeah! Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, share it with your family and friends, all that good stuff for more humble New Zealand quality wargaming content. I am a Māori wargamer as always, Whānau. Thank you for watching. Ka kite. Hanoi.